All right, let's go ahead and run through our first lab here for RS lot or for in our logics pro. So um, uh, the directions will actually walk you through this when we actually get to a lab, but this will just be a quick introduction on the counters and how they work. So we always want to start off every uh, program by going new and then just select the 502 processor emulator and then go to simulations and clear all data files. Okay, this will just clear everything out from any previous menus that we had. So let's go ahead and I'm going to walk you through a couple of weird things with the counter and then I'm just going to start let you dive into the labs. All right. And I'll kind of walk you through some of those as well. So um, we're going to start off here with just a basic input. We're going to use uh, I've right clicked on this to uh, make it a um, little push button here. So I'll go ahead and give that that address. Remember, we have to double click on these. OK, so I semicolon one forward slash zero enter and that'll convert it over and then i'm going to come over to my timer counter bin here all right and so uh we're going to hit the count up instruction we're going to come here and we're going to give this the address c5 colon zero hit enter i'm going to put a preset here of four so i'm not wasting your time too much and then i'm going to go back to the user add in another rung I'm going to drag in an input here, and this will be C5 colon zero forward slash DN. Okay. And I'm going to grab an output. Oops. I clicked on it and I brought up two. And I'm going to make this output colon two. Remember, it has to be two because that's where my outputs are, or four. We'll do two here. Forward slash zero for simplicity pur for simplistic purposes. And then I'm going to edit symbol. I'm going to make this a green pilot light. Okay, this is just for fun. And I'm going to come over here, right click, select green. Okay, let's download and see how it works. I'm going to go file. Download to PLC. I'm going to click this show PLC program. I'm going to put this in run mode. Another cool feature is you can right click this and say go to data table. And this will bring up the data table file. Same thing here. Okay, it seems like you can really only have, you know, bring this down, make this the counter. See, my preset has four in it already. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to click on this one. Notice I have a one here now. Two, three, four. Boom. This goes done. My done here is uh, yellow. This here is yellow. And my output is on. And I have a green light here. Notice in my data table file, my uh, done bit here is true. My accumulated tracked along as I was clicking. Now, if I keep clicking, you'll see that this keeps going. Okay. Now, I didn't put a reset in here, so let me show you how we do that, okay? So, we're going to come here. We're going to go to Program, all right? Click here, go offline. I'm not sure if that step is necessary, but we're going to do it anyway. Grab this line, drag it down to here, input this. I'm going to drag this input down to here and double-click on it and make this one. I'm going to come over here, right click to make this a normal, normally open push button. Then I'm going to go back to my counter and I'm going to grab my reset. All right. Now, this is a trick that I, this is the only way I ever set a reset. I drag that reset down to this question mark. So I know I have the same address. You have to have the same address. So. Um, then I'm ready to go again. So I'm going to come over, download, come back over to my PLC panel, select run, and I'm ready to go. Oops. Let me go ahead. I'm going to reset. I'm going to, I, let me bring this up real quick. I'm going to go to data file, drag this over, go to my counter. 
Notice my accumulator is at 11. I'm going to come over here and push my reset button. My accumulator went back to zero. So I come over here, one, two, three, four. Boom, done. Okay, come over here, activate my reset, and we're ready to go. All right, so um, yeah, I think that's a quick introduction to how counters work. And I'm going to make another video here. I'm going to try to keep these videos somewhat short if I can. And I'm going to show you some of the problems that we can have with a um, counter and how we can overcome some of them. All right.